Hello, church family. Ron Branscombe here. I get to bring to you the longest um, chapter in the Bible, Psalms 119. And I really considered going verse by verse on this particular chapter. And then just God-given discernment here, I decided better wrap this up in three to four minutes. So I've, I've carved out just a certain section, but I mean, it's it's 176 verses in this particular book or in this particular chapter. So, um, but the amazing thing with Psalm 119 and the, the, the theme of it is, is the practical use of the word of God in the life of a believer. And the, the psalmist of, the, of this particular psalm, uh, you know, only had if that individual had the Old Testament, which would have had the the Torah and various things, but with no New Testament like we have today, nothing in addition other than God's supreme uh, Holy Spirit and wisdom pouring out on this individual really covered some remarkable topics in this particular chapter. And uh, I really like the application of God's food, of, the, of his word being food, uh, I love the term, and I heard this from Vody Bauckham, uh, head in the bread, put your head in the bread, because this is, you know, God's word is where we need to be feeding upon. But let me take you to uh, the very back of 119, verses 169 through 176. And really, it's a, the, the, the closing of this particular chapter is, hear my prayer, is what is being expressed here. And everything that's been said, all the good things, all the nuggets, and all these verses, you get to verse 169, and uh, you get through 169 through 172 is you get the picture of, uh, I need your word. I need your word. May my cry come before you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise, which is within God's word. May my lips overflow with praise, for you teach me your decrees. May my tongue sing of your word, for all your commands are righteous. So this psalmist, obviously, uh, the, the, the law and the word of God was very important to the psalmist, as it should be in our lives, for us to understand what is God calling us to? How do we glorify God? It's right here in his word. And so... Uh, the, the start of this is, I need your word. Verse uh, 173 is, I need your hand. I need you shaping me and guiding me. Uh, may your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. Verse 174, I need your salvation, for I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Now, this salvation would be more in the sense of uh, deliverance from enemies, is, uh, is what I believe is being referenced here and uh, a protection and and keeping me from harm and and in this and in this particular chapter of 119 there's a lot of uh enemy attacks and a lot of things that you know for protection throughout the psalms um verse 175 let me live that i may praise you and may your law sustain me i need your help and then the final uh, verse 176, I have strayed like a lost sheep. Now who listening to this can't relate to this? I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant for I have not forgotten your commands. I am your servant is the closing of this particular chapter. And so my prayer for our church, Boundless Grace, is that, uh, that we're praying for... Uh, uh, the shaping of being a servant to God. And what that looks like is in his word. So that's just a quick summary, uh, not a verse by verse of 119, but a quick summary. Uh, Brother Josh tomorrow gets the shortest chapter in the book. I'm not sure how this worked out. <laughs> but uh, let's see if he can go past four minutes on that one. Y'all take care. God bless. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.